The unfortunately, Gary can't be here, so he's asked me to stand in and read a statement that he's prepared. The future of democracy is one of the key issues faced us today. Earlier this year, a Distinguished Monitoring Institute in Sweden reported that more democracies are declining, even sliding into autocracy, today than any point in the last century. This is affecting established and fragile democracies alike across the globe. In these circumstances, the threat to democracy is increasingly to the fore. President Biden declared a week ago that the failure of the Republicans to win control of the Senate was a good day for democracy, since the alternative scenario was electoral manipulation in future elections by the conspiracy theorists on the far right. As we've seen in our fellow Celtic nations, the threat is becoming central to the political narrative. Nicola Sturgeon in Scotland talks of renewing democracy through independence and that Scottish democracy cannot be a prisoner of any Westminster government. Similarly, in Wales, it has been claimed by some that independence is not just about nationalism, it's about democracy. With the spectre for a mayor of Cornwall being opposed on us without a proper consultation, let alone any demo democratic mandate, we also need to champion the cause of Cornish democracy. In March 2023, the Institute of Cornish Studies will be launching a new publication entitled Cornish Democracy, Studies of Governments and Identity. The contributors to this book include John Alt, Andrew Primo, Dick Cole, Hugh Evans, Richard Harris, Stephen Horscroft, Philip Payton, Dan Rogerson, Alan Sandry, Gary Trigidger, Mark Trevethan, Joni Willett, and Malcolm Williams. This team of academics and policy makers alike reflect on issues of devolution and democracy in relation to the case of Cornwall. After considering the political and historical background, it explores the subject from a variety of perspectives, including community of governance, interaction with Westminster, cultural and language policy, local control of the planning system instead of the current situation, and global outreach in connection to democratic renewal. Should you like to register your interest for the book, Please take a flyer for further details. I'll put a load out on the front desk. This book is also intended to be a catalyst for further reports and projects by the Institute's Cornish Democracy Unit. On Friday, the 24th of February, Professor Chris Carter, who was the senior advisor to the Labour leader in Scotland, but originally from Cornwall, will be the guest speaker at a research forum at Pending Campus when he will talk on how Cornwall can learn from the Scottish experience. Should you like to attend this forum and or play a part in the research activities of the CDU, please get in contact. So as I've said, there will be a pile of these forms on the front table of Thank you.